This question came in 2014 for two marks in set four for EC gate. Let's read the question. Consider a silicon sample doped with ND equals to 1 times 10 power 15 per centimeter cube donor atoms. Obviously, as ND is mentioned, it is donor. So, a silicon sample, so let me write this here. So, a silicon sample which is intrinsic or pure silicon is doped with ND of 1 times 10 power 15 per centimeter cube. So, it will become N type semiconductor or N type silicon now. So, it becomes a N type silicon. That's the first statement. Now, let's see. Assume that the intrinsic carrier concentration Ni is this. So, Ni value is given here. So, let me write this here. Ni is equal to 1.5 times 10 power 10 per centimeter cube. Okay. If the sample is additionally doped with, now this piece of material is going to be doped additionally with Na, which is acceptor atoms, okay, of concentration given here. So, this material is going to be doped with additionally with Na, which is 1 times 10 power 18 per centimeter cube. Now, what will happen to this material? Will this be N type or P type now? If you see here, Na is 1 times 10 power 18, which is really very high compared to 10 power 15, three orders of magnitude. So, hence this will become a P type semiconductor because Na is greater than Nd. In fact, not just simply, it is like three orders of magnitude. Now, this kind of doping is called compensated doping. This we have discussed in the theory videos that if a particular type of semiconductor is taken and there is another kind of doping done on top of it to make it a different kind of material, that's called compensated doping. Okay, so now the question is the approximate number of electrons per centimeter cube in the sample at t equal to 300 Kelvin will be dash. So now in this semiconductor, the electron concentration is the question mark. Okay, to find that, now we have this uh, in compensated uh, doping kind of a uh, semiconductor, we have formulas. To apply them, we need one of the conditions to be satisfied. That is, here Na is greater than Nd, so we have to say Na minus Nd, if it is far greater than Ni, of course, that is true in this case, which is 1 times 10 power 18 per centimeter cube minus 1 times 10 power 15 per centimeter cube is obviously far greater than 1 times 10 power 15 per centimeter cube. I can write this as 1000 times 10 power 15 minus 1 times 10 power 15. Obviously, this will be, I can say 999 times 10 power 15 is obviously very greater than 1 times 10 power 15. So, I can say this condition is satisfied. When this condition is satisfied, we have a formula, this is p-type semiconductor, where p is given by Na minus Nd, and Na is given by Ni square over Na minus Nd. Now, what we are asked is the number of electrons per centimeter cube. So, we need to find N, which will be equal to, which will be equal to, Ni square is 1.5 square 2.25 times 10 power 20 per centimeter cube divided by Na minus Nd. I can say Na minus Nd is 999 times 10 power 15, which is, I am taking approximately 1000 times 10 power 15, which is 1 times 10 power 18 anyways. So, 1 times 10 power 18. Now, which is equal to 18, it becomes 2. So, it becomes 2.25 times 10 power 2, which is nothing but 225. So, the answer is 225. They have already given the electrons per centimeter cube. So, we have been taking everything per centimeter cube throughout, even though we haven't mentioned here. So, the answer is also per centimeter cube.